Hey y'all, uh, good morning. I'm going to show you how to schedule a Python script to run every day, every hour, every week, whatever you like, on your little Amazon virtual server on one of Amazon's web services called uh, EC2 and an EC2 instance. I'm not going to go over setting that up here. Other people have done great videos on that. I recommend Centdex on YouTube. That's S-E-N-T-D-E-X. All I'm going to do is show you how to schedule your Python script. So this assumes you already have an EC2 instance and you're in it. And it also assumes you already have a little Python script. Let's see what I have. I have weather.py. Uh, we can nano weather.py and look inside. It's, it's really a, a ridiculously simple script. Every day I go to this URL and create a, a txt file with the name of the day's date and I will save the weather forecast in that file. So today is June 5th, 2015. Let's run this script and see what happens. Python weather.py okay something's happened ls it's made it's made a file with uh, with today's date let's nano into 2015-6-5.txt and there's the day's activity that's that's great uh, so we'll just close out of that excuse me all right and uh, we might as well rm the file we made to just get a nice clean directory rm star.txt okay so here we are uh, we just have a plain Python script in here now we're going to tell the server to run this little script once a day we do that via the cron tab what is cron tab exactly I don't exactly know but here's how to use it we're going to create a file complaining containing plain old text that tells crontab what to do and when to do it so let's nano weather dot cron c r o n and this is just a plain text file now comes the part you see if you google the phrase crontab tutorial first you tell it when to run you use five asterisks to start with one two three four five the first one stands for minutes, the second one stands for hours, 0 to 23, the third is for the day of the month, 1 through 31, the fourth is for the month, zero, uh, excuse me, 1 through 12, and the fifth is for the day of the week, 0 through 6. All I want to do is run my little script once a day, uh, the time is not really important to me, let's just say... You know, let's just say we run it uh, every day at uh, at 1:15. So what I'm going to do is tell it to run at the 15th minute of the 13th hour. Leave everything else as an asterisk. So that tells it to do something every day at the on the 13th hour and, and the 15th minute. And what I want it to do. Is I want it to Python weather.py. That's all. I'm just telling it on the 13th hour and the 15th minute of every day, run this little command. So let's get out of there. Save it. Yes. Now, all we're going to do, oh, well, I'll show you what we have here. Okay, now we have two files. Now, all we're going to do is load weather.cron into the cron tab. Let's first type out, let's see what's in our cron tab. I hope it's empty because I haven't put anything in it. Cron tab L. List everything in my cron tab. Well, nothing in there right now. So let's load weather.cron into cron tab. Let's see here. And we do that pretty simply. Cron tab weather.cron. So we're loading weather.cron into cron tab. Now when we have, now when we try cron tab, cron tab L, oh, it has a command in there. So we've created a text file called weather.cron, told it to run our script every day, 
and then we've loaded it into the cron tab. Now let's come back in a couple of days and uh, see what's happened. Okay, now it's a few days later. Uh, we've been running our cron, cron job for a couple days, and let's uh, let's see what's in our directory. And uh, it's a bunch of text files created over the last few days by our cron job. And uh, we can nano into one of them here. Nano 2015-6-7.txt. And uh, there's the weather from June 7th, just like we asked. Yeah, I'll prove it to you. I'll show you another one. Nano 2015-6-9.txt. And there's the weather from a few days later. Um, so that's worked. Um, great. So there's the weather as scraped by our cron job once a day. Um, to get this data out, I myself use FTP. I use FileZilla. And there's already a great tutorial out there for that. You don't, I don't need to make another one. Um, check out YouTube user Johnny Francis, J-H-O-N-N-Y-F-R-A-N-S-I-S. Johnny Francis has a video called Connect to Amazon EC2 File Directory using FileZilla and SFTP. And um, that'll show you how to extract your files onto, uh, onto your own computer. So that's the end. Thanks for watching.